Excellent! What is up everybody? How you doing? One of these? There we go. Now, you're probably wondering, what are you doing? You, you've you got this weird kind of mood lighting going on and this soft echoey music in the background. Um, I'm playing a new game. I tried to record this yesterday, but I had some trouble with OBS. Uh, but I want to bring you a serious game, I guess you could probably say. It's called This War of Mine. Um, it's a survival game, in a way. And I thought it'd be a very nice... A nice game to play because it's it's not kooky, it's not stuff's weird and all that. It's a it's a it's a fucking serious game for me. Let me tell you that. Now ignore the continue and ignore the another try in the stories. We're just going to do another try. I played this once or twice just for a bit of fun, and then I thought, you know what, it might actually be a nice serious game to play. So, we have a choice between all of these people, and as you can see, Boris, Amelia, and Marin have survived. That was one thing I did. This one, everybody died. So what I'm actually going to be doing is I'm just going to be choosing the first guys on here, um, which is Katia, Bruno, and Pavel. I hope I said that name right. There's Pavel, by the way, if you're wondering what Pavel looks like. But this is literally just going to be a, a, a see how long... I can survive kind of thing it's it's a deep game man it's a deep game like it stuff you do in this has like lasting ramifications not only on your soul but on the game as well uh, and I do believe it's set in like a Russian country a country that speaks Russian I believe um, yeah so here we go here, here are my characters we've got slightly chubby version of me uh, that guy Pavel so I'm guessing that's the other guy. And then we have the Russian woman, whose name I can't remember. But let's have a look what we have here. I ne I've never read these as well, so let's have a look. So when the Civil War broke out, many people thought it would only last a couple of weeks. It's been years since government military surrounded the rebels in the capital, cutting off supply lines. The civilian population trapped in the city are suffering from hunger, disease and shelling. Oh, right. So, it tell it so that's like the backstory of the thing here. This is the backstory of our people right now. So Katia met both Pavel and Bruno. So that's Pavel, that's Bruno, right? Before the war, she used to be a reporter while Bruno had his own television cooking show. Sweet. Pavel was the star of the local football team. Katia even interviewed him once. Now they meet in a dramatically different circumstance looking for food and shelter. Man, this mood lighting that I've got going on is really helping. And it's like, it's not intentional. So this is Pavel, this is Bruno, and this is Katia, who is slightly sick. All right, Katia, do you want to go sit down for a bit? Let's 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 get Katia to sit down. Uh, what we are going to do is we're going to have to loot up the rest of the house. Now, we're lucky it's not cold in here. It's 22 degrees. What you'll see around the house uh, is there's a very... You, what you've got to do is you have to loot scavenge build defend all these kind of stuff that really makes this game like kind of dark in some aspects um some of the things i've had to do in previous well some of the things i've decided to do in in previous like playthroughs of this uh like stealing from old people and all this kind of stuff it's got really really bad ramifications and like you have to make you you really have to search yourself when you're playing this game because it's like do i want to rob from this you know this old couple or do i want to shoot this guy in the back of the head and like take his stuff and it gets like really fucking dark really quick and it's not something like oh i paused it it's not something you really think about in like your daily life stuff but like it really hits you when you're playing this game because the, on the one with the Boris where everybody survived I stole from a shit ton of people because I was like I can't find food one of my mate one of the people I know who's like hanging out in this is like deadly ill like stuff was just getting bleak and I was like right I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to rob something 
so I can like survive and I had to rob a bunch of stuff and I even had to kill like a soldier but mind you I did kill the soldier because he was trying to like rape a woman I told you this game's like dark man it's like super dark but I will take you over the basic controls so as you can see uh, will he run yeah he did a little bit of a jog clicking clicking in one spot um, will make him walk as you can see right there double clicking will make him pick up the pace see uh, you basically just have to clear things out uh, now do I have yes I do uh, by the way I'm playing this windowed so like that's why it's like when I go like that to try and move it it, it there's like a slow reaction um, but there it is right there see this here just under the end of day thing that's a big ass hole and if I don't border that up, I'm sorry, Pavel, I did not mean to do that. If I don't border that up, people who loot during the night will try and loot my house. And they could break in with some some guns or they could hurt my people. And that's not good. So, you know, you've really got to make decisions. And it can last 40 days, I think, is the maximum it can last. Ooh, now that is good. And I have two food already. That That's great. Now, I've got a fast runner, a good cook, and a woman who can bargain real good. So I don't really have a craftsman. And each one of them does, you know, something specific uh, out in the field. So Pavel is a good runner. Therefore, he will be very handy at, um, if there's a place with soldiers, or if I've got to escape, or anything like that. Pavel will be good at that. Uh... He cooks, so I'm guessing he doesn't use as no enough resources when he cooks. I've never really figured out. However, I have used Katia before for bargaining skills uh, because a guy will come up to the to the front door over there and he'll be like, yo, I've got some stuff. Well, to be honest, he'll turn up and be like, look, I've got stuff. Fucking get out of here because he's a dick. Because I don't know why, he just dude wants to be a dick. Now, we don't have any meds. So, we are going to have to basically just, uh... We're just going to have to put her to, into bed because she'll recover when she's in bed. And we do need a metal workshop, so let's get a metal workshop down. Now, I do know the basics. Uh... I know the basics, but I don't know the if there's any single way on how to survive. Like, I don't know if there's a specific way of doing stuff. I survived once by pure luck and that involved a lot of stealing. I almost dropped my keyboard then. Like not a good not a good thing to be doing because it does uh, like it has ramifications on your people's spirit, I guess you could say. Can I make a crowbar? I can make a crowbar. So let's make a crowbar so I can break into some of these places and get the resources that I need before the night's out. See, there we go. She's a recovering. That's good. I ah, just, just take a nice lap. Take a nice lap. Take a nice nap, you wee lass. Fix your strength up. I'm going to need you for when that bloke turns up at the door like, I've got some stuff. Get out here. He li Literally, I'm pretty sure one of the things he says is, I've got some stuff. Get out here. He's a dick. I don't like him. He's always walking around the place like he's like owning it or whatever. Can I build a shovel, actually? Let's get some let's get some speed in this, shall we, Pavel? So I am using a bunch of resources right now. I'm gonna have to wait for that shovel to get done. So would you mind coming down here and there it is. Let's get him running. Now the night ends at seven, I believe, on this. Or eight. I can't really remember. Uh he's gonna go break into that, so I can get Pavel to go up here and shovel that out when the shovel's done. Shovel is a handy, handy tool. So he's breaking in here. Hopefully we'll have some bandages. Yeah, see, you hear it ticking down? Uh, 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. is when we uh, we run out of stuff. No medicine. Okay, that's not a good thing. I was hoping for some meds, because that would help... Uh, Katia? Katia. It helped Katia heal faster. 30 minutes. We've only got 30 minutes. I can't remember how fast, uh... Ah, uh, we're not gonna break into this in time. No, he's probably not gonna get through that door. I oh, almost did. <sighs> Alright, so this is this is the, the night aspect of... of this game. So, you can do... 1, 2, 3, 
four things. Four things? So, each person has a specific thing, and I'm going to be taking Cav uh, Cavill. I'm going to be taking Pavel out for um, scavenging, and Bruno is going to stay behind and guard the house. Hopefully nothing happens, but that's what we're going to have to do. Now, we have three places to go. We can either go to the semi-detached house, which apparently has some people living in it, who don't seem friendly, hence the danger thing right there. Uh, but that does have a huge amount of food and lots of meds. That involves robbing people. Mm. Decrepit Squat has got, I'm guessing... Yeah, it's got some people... There's no food, some weapons, some parts, huge amount of materials. So I'm basically just going to have to stick with the shelled cottage because it's got some food, which I really need. It's got some meds, which I really need. Now, Pavel only has a carrying capacity of 12. Uh, so it's not that good. But we're just going to go in and we're just going to try and get what we can. We're going to take a crowbar with us in case we need to break open a door because you do actually have to do that. Like, there will be some... Um, obstacles out there in the field uh, which will involve breaking through a door now you see this see this little I'm just gonna grab all them see this little thing right there that's a rat I could tell you it's a rat because we're just gonna go check on the door yeah there it is there's the rat so the first place oh there's a dead guy there in the background Jesus Christ see now I could take all of this stuff but it would fill up every slot I have. So you really, really, really have to be careful. Well, not careful, but you've really got to be picky on the stuff you pick up. Like meds, food, big, big things for me. So look at that, food. I could take these herbs. I'm not going to. I am going to take this water though, because water is important. And you'll notice it stacks. So I can only carry four of them and two of them in, in a stack. Uh, because wood is a very valued commodity, apparently. But I need food, I need meds, and then I can come back for materials after that. So I can pick up that water. Eh, there's that rat again. You see him there? Scurry, scurry, scurry. Up he goes. And then meds, yes. Alright, these, these herbal meds, which is a fucking waste of your time. Um, sometimes they help, sometimes they don't, as it clearly says right there. But they are good for bartering with. However,. Don't need them right now, so I'm going to focus on some other stuff. Now, there's no one here, so I can just, you know, run around. And see what I was talking about, bringing the crowbar with me? Opens that door. I wouldn't be able to get into it with otherwise. Uh, teddy bears, wood. I'm going, to bring, I'm going to collect some more wood. I'm going to take that to fill up that. I like leaving behind even amounts of things. I know I shouldn't. Uh, but if I leave behind even amounts of things and leave with even amounts of things, then I don't, ha I, you know, I don't run back and end up needing just one extra piece to build something. So, yeah. Right. This, this is like a little backstory of what's been happening in the country. So, uh, on the flyers dropped in the city, it reads, This is a zone of anti-terrorist operations. Persons remaining in the city will be treated as terrorist supporters. For your own, uh, for you, if, wow. That, my English. For your own and your family's safety, leave... Oh, the place is called Pogoran immediately. The army guarantees you a safe passage. Not many believe them after the atrocities they had committed. Me fucking... So, it, you know, both sides in this war, the rebels and the army, don't appear to be doing good things, which uh, can actually have some effects when you're out scavenging in the city. It's not a pretty picture, man. This, good. Uh, now, you can barter, roll up cigarettes. Uh, you guys will smoke. If you have coffee in your inventory and you've got some water, uh, you guys will make coffee. They like drinking coffee. Uh, what are these? Oh, yeah, right. So, some things you'll need to make. Uh, you'll need parts to upgrade them, uh, like uh, if you want to upgrade your furnace. Weapon parts help you fix broken weapons that you can find around the town. Uh, I'm actually just going to take, take them and I'm gonna go check downstairs real quick. How are you doing, Pavel? Doing okay? You know, the one thing I do find creepy, if you watch this, he does eventually blink. There, see, he, he blunk. I, that's something I don't like. I don't like watching him blink. It's like really creepy to me. Uh, that's just wood. All right, do you know, we're gonna, we're gonna spend a little time digging this out so we can break into that cabinet and see if there's anything good in it. Should've brought a shovel. 
but without the crowbar I wouldn't have been able to break in so we're gonna so yeah I could really use a shovel that is one thing I will tell you well while, while Pavel's digging this let's have a little chat um, the people will tell you what's happening now there is a winter system in this game which I like and at the same time hate uh, but like the temperature you'll see in the little degrees in the in the in the top corner like where the bullets would be um, if it slowly starts dropping every day and it doesn't go back up winter's coming right if you don't have a radio that's a good way of telling that winter's coming uh, so what you have to do is you have to pre uh, prep up on things called consumables which is like stuff you burn so wood if you're really in a hurry books books are a good thing to burn though that does kind of sound like something you shouldn't really do but um you really have to prep for winter and if one of you per if, if, a, if a person is sick and you don't keep the house warm they will stay sick for a longer period of time than they would normally if they hadn't there's so much in this game I, like i bought it it was like 69 pence and i was thinking all right it's just gonna be a little quirky little survival thing you know a bit of fun turns out it's one of the most advanced games i've ever played like just the way they do some things so like robin can have negative effects on people's moods and all that kind of stuff or if like one of the if, if pavel was to go out into a place and got shot by some of the banditos out there or whatever bullets 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 not needing right okay we're just gonna run to the exit uh so yeah so like if i was if pavel got shot and died for like the next pretty much for the rest of the game until something cheers them up everybody's gonna be sad uh, and that is not a good thing definitely not a good thing so i think what we're going to do is we're only going to do the first night so what happens is pavel's going to come back now it saved the game by the day two we're, we're going to stop right here uh because i want to do it on a daily basis so pavel's going to come back what's he going to say tonight i had a really good haul look what i got everybody's going to be happy it's going to be me a quick little brief on um what happened hey the night was calm so i think he didn't really need to guard but if he did didn't or whatever so before we leave pavel is now hungry and tired same with you up there and she's hungry but she's no longer sick see she's no longer sick that's good so i can build some stuff yay we need food we've got five food so i'm gonna pause it and uh, in fact no i'll let it no i'll pause it i don't want things to run over even though next time we jump off it jumps just as pavel comes back in but uh that is that is the end of this episode i will go in to more depth of some stuff that's going to happen um later on in the next episode so like I'll, I'll take you through going what happens with like cooking and all this kind of stuff and fixing up your house like you've got to do i learned you've got to fix your house really quickly or w bad things happen basically because people go look that house has got holes in it let's go rob it and they normally turn up with guns and shoot everyone that's not fun but Wow, I, I really don't know if I could do like a really happy sign. This game really gets to you. Um, so we need cheering up, obviously. Uh, <laughs> but thanks for coming along to today's video. You know the drill. Like, share, and subscribe. Man, this game's going to really bum me out at some point. Oof. But thanks for coming along. And as always, stay awesome.